Hello everyone. My name is Rick Wallenstein. My wife Joanne and I own the Lavender Bee Farm. I have, I started off with one beehive and now I have over 65 beehives here. A good healthy beehive can produce up to 70-75 pounds of honey a year. It's a all-natural raw honey. We don't heat it so that it retains the flavor of the blossoms that the bees have gone to. Well here we have a, a Provence uh, lavender plant. Uh, this is the first variety uh, that here on the farm that blooms. Uh, it starts to bloom first part of June. Uh, the bees love it. The bees will collect the nectar from each of these little lavender blossoms. A bee in its lifetime will make one twelfth of a teaspoon of honey. When bees go to their flower blossoms to collect pollen and nectar, they, they're covered with tiny little hairs. And those hairs uh, allow the pollen to adhere to them, so when they go back to the, to the hive, it can be gleaned off of them. The bees will start to make free-form honeycomb as soon as they get inside because they need to have a home. They want to, they want to start to, to uh, have the queen lay eggs and to store honey and pollen. There's only one queen per hive. Uh, since the bees come from that queen, all of the female worker bees come from that queen, they, they scent her. She has a pheromone scent that is unique just to her. This is an example of how uh, a foraging bee will come into a hive with nectar in its honey stomach and it transfers through this proboscis to the worker bee inside where it's mixed with more additional enzymes and then regurgitated into the honey cell. We scrape this old beeswax off, off of the foundation and melt it down and uh, clean it and we end up with these wax bars that we use to make candles, we use it in soap, uh, we make lotion bars with it, so there's really no waste to, uh, to any of the beekeeping supplies. We have a lot of people come to our farm uh, to visit the, the farm and see, learn about bees and learn about lavender and, and see what we've done with our property. And it, it's, a great, it's a great feeling to be able to share what we've learned with, with everybody. Uh, but I wanted to say something about genetically engineered crops. Um, almost everybody that comes to our farm wants to know about uh, what's called CCD, colony collapse disorder, and which was decimating uh, a lot, a lot of bees, and uh, worldwide, not just in the United States. The, it's been found that one of the main reasons has been from pesticides, insecticides, and from genetically engineered crops. Uh, these crops, uh, special seeds that are treated with chemicals to kill insects and uh, to create a, a better better product are very detrimental to bees. It causes them to become deformed uh, where their uh, wings do not develop properly, their organs do not develop fully, and it's just killing them by the hundreds of thousands. So I would ask that everybody um, look at genetically engineered crops, seeds, and see if maybe we could live without them. Uh, our fruit may not look exactly perfect, uh, our vegetables might not look perfect, but they'll still taste better than they are with the way that they're being produced now.